Hi everybody, in this video we're going to solve this inequality for x. So the first thing we do, like any inequality or an equation, or equation, is we simplify both sides as much as we can. Now looking on the left, there's no operations to do and these are not like terms, so we can't add them together. So on the left we're done, but on the right side of the equation we can uh, use the distributive property and add like terms and things like that, right? Now we cannot go 4 minus 6 to get negative 2 because that would be subtracting before we have multiplied. If we if we're simplify, we've got to think about order of operations, PEMDAS, so we need to multiply first, okay? So we can multiply the negative 6 in here. Negative 6 times, neg times 2x is a negative 12x. Negative 6 times negative 5 is a plus 30, isn't it? And then we just write out the rest of the inequality. Um, so there's one other thing to do on the right. What, what do we do on the right now to uh, simplify it? One more thing. You can add two like terms together. What are the, what are the two like terms? Positive 4 and the 30, right? To make 34. So on the right we'll have negative 12x plus 34. And now we have simplified the right of the equation. There's nothing left to do. Okay. So both sides are simplified. That's the first step done. The next step is to solve. So add or subtract or divide on both sides until you just get x on its own. We need x on its own and it's going to be either less than or greater than something uh, when we're done. Okay. So that's what we're looking for. x on its own on, the, on one side of the equation. So let's see. Well, I could add 12x to both sides. I could subtract 9 from both sides, I could subtract 34 from both sides, or I could add 3x. I'm just going to add 3x. Um, it would be easier, by the way, to add 12x. So if you want to do that, go ahead. You'll get 9x over here and it'll all work out nicely. I'm going to add 3x just to show what happens when you end up with a negative x term. So negative 3x plus 3x is 0. We get 9 here. Negative 12x plus 3x, negative 9x and then plus 34, okay? So now I'm trying to get x on its own, remember. x is being multiplied by negative 9 and 34 is being added. So the smart thing to do at this point is let's subtract 34 from both sides so we can get at least the x term on its own. 9 minus 34 is what? 9 good guys, 34 bad guys makes 25 bad guys, negative 25 and we get negative 9x here, okay? Now, x is being multiplied by what? It's being multiplied by negative 9. So to undo that, we need to divide by what? Divide by negative 9 on both sides, okay? So on the left, we get a negative over negative positive, 25 over 9, 25 ninths, 25 over 9, we'll just leave it like that for now. Um, and on the right, we get negative over negative positive. 9 over 9 is 1, so you could say plus 1x or just x. The question is, what direction should the inequality sign be? Um, and by the way, when we, we added something to both sides, we didn't change the inequality sign. That's because, I'll give you an example, if you have 10, which is less than uh, 20, and you were to add 3 to both sides on this equation. On the left you'd have 13 and on the right you'd have 23. And 13 is still less than 23. So adding to both sides doesn't change the direction. When we subtract it from both sides it doesn't change either. I mean if you had let's say, um, well let's say I'll just make something up again. 10 is less than 20 and you were to subtract um, let's say 4 from both sides you would get 6 on the left, 16 on the right, and this is still less than, okay? So when you add, it doesn't change direction. When you subtract, it doesn't change direction. But when you divide by a negative, things happen then. Because if we had, let's say, 10 is less than 20, 
uh, we were divide divide both sides by let's say uh, negative five. I'm just I made these numbers up. I just made them up just for an example. Uh, Ten over negative five is negative two. Twenty over negative five is negative four. And negative four is actually lesser than negative two. Negative two is greater. So when you divide by a negative, you must change the direction of the inequality. So we divide it by a negative. We need to change the direction of the inequality. And if you read, now there's two ways to read this. I want you to read it from right to left. What does it say? Start here reading this direction. It says 25 ninths is greater than x. Okay. But now I want you to read it in that direction. Start here and read it this way. So x is less than 25 ninths. Right. And we can write it that way too, and why not? x is less than 25 ninths. And just for fun, I'm going to put this as a mixed number. 9 into 25 goes how many times? 2 times, right? Remainder what? Because 2 nines is 18, see? Uh, uh, you know, 2 times 9 is uh, 18. And 25 minus 18, by the way, is um, 7, isn't it? So we have 2 and 7, or sorry, 7 ninths. So it's x is less than 2 and 7 ninths. And we need to uh, plot that as a graph on a, on a number line, right? So here's a number line. I'm just going to draw one real quick. Here's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Um, 2 and 7 ninths is almost 3. It's, it's about there. And it would have either you can do an open circle or or I'm going to do a parenthesis to show that it's not included as part of the answer because this is x is less than 2 and 7 ninths. x represents all numbers less than 2 and 7 ninths. So this is where our 2 and 7 ninths is located or 25 ninths, right? So that's our... Um, line graph representation of this set of numbers, all right?